hem of my garment. It's not enough to just touch it anymore. Keep knocking at my door. Then when the answer doesn't come fast enough, pounds. When you get weary, keep on asking, seeking, and ye shall find. But don't stop till you hear from heaven. For I promised you, my children, bread and not the crumbs of this world. For you see, judgment has come to the house of Yahweh, and it's not as easy as touching my hem or knocking softly for your answers. You better be prepared. It may take wrestling for your blessing like Jacob, but it only proves your faith and makes it stronger, which is needed in these end times. So keep on saying, no more crumbs. You will not be denied, for you are the blood-bought bride of Yahushua HaMashiach. I will answer and deliver you. I do not lie, for you are promised not the crumbs of this world, but the bread of life, the children's bread of healing, deliverance, prosperity, life abundantly and full of glory. For Yeshua is your bread of life, and I want to see if you will still praise me and hang on to your faith, though I don't answer right away. I am not always a microwave God. Yes, I know about microwaves. Who do you think gave you the invention? You have scripture to stand on. Read Matthew 15, 22-28 about a Canaanite woman's faith. She was worshipping Yeshua, yet he ignored her, that the disciples rebuke her, call her a dog, said the blessing was for another, not her. And you say, why, Yushua, why, why would you have done all this? Because in these last days, all this will happen to my most faithful followers. Those that worship me, this will be done by others in my name. You will be insulted, rejected, persecuted. Yet if you continue to hold on to your faith, though I don't rescue right away, then like this Canaanite woman, you will be rewarded. For I will see how great your faith is. For in these end times, I am preparing my body in this way. When I come again, how many will have hung on to their faith? How many will turn away when they call out in prayer for a need and I don't answer right away? You must tell them to be willing to wrestle with me for their blessing like Jacob did. For I desire to bless. I only want to test and see how badly you want this blessing. Will you still worship me when I don't answer right away? It's not my chastisement that is causing this. For the woman fell and worshipped at my feet. You are worshipping at my feet. But judgment has started at the house of Yahweh, and one of the things I am testing is how strong is your faith? How loyal and how much will you rely on me? Like the Canaanite woman, your faith and loyalty will be rewarded, for you shall see what you desire, and even more exceedingly and more abundantly will I shower down my blessings like a river overflowing. You will have so much joy, and I will bless you so much, you will be forced to give unto others. Hold on tight to the hem of my garment. Don't let go. Keep knocking till the door opens to your blessings you have asked for. I will answer eventually. And lean not unto thy own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge me, and I shall direct your paths. Remember, the trials of your faith are more precious than gold. Keep your eyes on your Savior, and not on the turbulence of the sea or the waves will drown you. But I am here to save you, for I am your Savior and Redeemer, am I not? I will not fail you nor forsake you. I know how much pressure to put on the clay before it breaks, how much fire to allow you to go through before you get consumed. The waves of despair will not drown you, for I am here to rescue and deliver not only your soul, but mind, body, and spirit. Trust me, and you shall see it come to pass. Then remember who delivered you. T'was no man or woman, but your God who created you. Yet it is I who will answer your call, for I know what you want, even before you ask. In the spiritual realm it is finished, but only waiting for my perfect timing to manifest in the physical realm. Your faith helps this to come forth. Does not my word say it's impossible to please Yahweh without faith? You please me by showing your faith in a God who cares and hears and knows all. You show your faith when you realize you cannot deliver yourselves but need me, your Savior, to deliver you, and so I shall. For am I not your Master and Savior? Is the God you serve deaf? No. Is my arm too short to deliver you? No. Is your faith being tested? Yes. Do I desire to bless you? Yes. Will you be one of those that hangs on tight to the hem of my garment and keeps knocking? Will you be one of those that stands and waits for my deliverance in the blessings I have promised you? It's your choice. I have spoken forth this day from this handmaiden, so you will understand why some things promised have not yet come to pass. Keep holding fast to the measure of faith I have given you, and deliverance you shall soon see at last.